out here on the trail today let's see well last night we were at the partnership shelter which was a super cool shelter it drizzled on and off but we slept all slept up in the loft and let's see just back on the trail this morning we all bought way too much food in walmart so we were eating a lot of food Ooh. Some garbage on the trail. Uh, so today, since yesterday was not a big day, everyone wants to do a little more miles. So somewhere around 20. There's a campsite at 18. There's a campsite at 22. But it's kind of been like this all day. Just green tunnel. Everyone says Virginia is a green tunnel. So I guess we have to get used to it a little bit. But on the contrary, it's really pretty. I mean, some dense rhododendrons. And these nice streams. All right, let's cross this bad boy. We had one nice view, but I mean, it was like, it was really, really pretty view, but it's not like the Southern Appalachians in Georgia, North Carolina. I was just mind blown with how vast some of those views and mountains were. It was just look out into true wilderness. Now, same thing, it's, like I said, it was really pretty views, but we were looking into like farmlands and towns and not more mountains just different it's kind of interesting how as we go the uh the landscape changes a lot so it's pretty cool and overcast now uh, i mean it, we've just been so lucky with weather recently i think tonight is supposed to be a little chilly it's supposed to get into the the 30s like mid high to mid 30s in town it'll be around freezing i think which is chilly i mean especially for april in virginia but we're not too worried i have no idea what else is up here today just more of these rolling rolling terrain but it's been nice we were all hiking together for a while and now I'm listening to some music. I think a few people are ahead, a few people are behind. That's it. A lot of people are a little worried. They didn't get much of a phone charge in, charging power banks and things in Marion. So we have like three or four days till the next town. Um, I'm pretty good. I have enough, enough battery, so. I'm sure I'll be lending it to some other people, but you rely so much on your phone, so it's hard to not have it. Although you don't need it. But. Yeah. All right. I'll catch you down the trail. Man, you could hear the buzz of that power line. Must be some serious currents going through there. So if I remember right, a little physics lesson. So the moving current creates an electromagnetic field and the water like the water in the air is polar. So on humid days, that polar water will react with the electromagnetic field and make this buzzing noise. But it's loud. Back to the trail we go.
Uh oh, stopped at a hostel on the trail. My first time weighing myself. Let's see. Oh my god, 600 pounds? 170. Alright. We lost like 5 pounds. Not so bad. Hey there. So, out on the trail now. Let's see, last night was good. We stayed at a campsite. I don't remember what it was called. And I think it was the coldest night forecasted within like the 10 day forecast. And it was like mid 30s, but it wasn't bad. Uh, it didn't feel like it was mid 30s. I was warm. Um, full day yesterday, we got to camp around six. I really just hung out, made a fire. Happy Thoughts and Meta were there. Now, back on the trail, I've been hiking with Gummy today for most of the day. Let's see, we all took a morning break at that pretty cow pasture, which was really nice. The trail really went right through it. I love going through those. And there's so much green, so much spring. Let's see, so I'm with Gummy now. The rest of the crew's ahead. We stopped at a hostel, got some lunch, and... That's it. At the shelter, come on to the bathroom. Should be on his way back. I hear him. Oh. There's a gummy. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you later. We have our first forge here. Ford crossing. The bridge is demolished training for Maine on our river crossings. All right, here with the crew, there's Meister. This'll be fun. Woo! <laughs> so there's a pulley system to get the pair of shoes across. Ugh. You got it. Ha <laughs> ha. So we're walking through another controlled burn section here, up this big climb, but been so many controlled burns, and so we're gonna camp at the time to the top of this climb. Forgot what the elevation is, but we heard that it's the highest point before the whites. So, <laughs> first it was Rune. Uh, now it's this climb. Now it's not as high as Rune, but it's the highest point left before we get to the whites. Kind of cool. I'll find out later what the actual elevation is. But there's going to be a neat tower at the top. Not tower. Uh, warden cabin. Warden cabin. So it's like a shelter now. But it's enclosed on all sides. It's got a door. <laughs> Except for the door. Alright. Gotta keep going up this climb. Woo! These are some neat tree leaf buds. But every day, a little more and more green. Let's see, we're up at Chestnob Shelter last night. And it's like an enclosed cabin. We had a nice sunset overlooking some farm fields. And night was good. In the cabin, it was warm. It's like a shelter cabin. And, uh, but it was, Probably around freezing, maybe a little below freezing. Now we're up on uh, a ridge. 
been doing a ridge walk most of the morning. I think we're going to go into town today. Either Bastion, I think it's called. There's two towns close together, but it's a 22 mile day into town and either we'll go into town or camp just outside of town and then have like a nice day in town tomorrow. But things are good today. More walking. Uh, I'm ahead of the group right now and there's a shelter in a little while. So I think I'm going to take a break at that shelter and wait up for everyone. And that's it. All I got for the update. <laughs> See you down the trail. So I'm here at Weary Feet Hostel. It's a nice morning. We spent the night here last night. It's, uh, this is a really nice hostel. It's really cool. It's like an old, really old, big farmhouse. They have a lot of property. It's a nice uh, older couple that runs it. We are actually the only ones here right now, which is really nice. So kind of got the whole place to ourselves. But packing up. Last or yesterday, I didn't do like a ton of videos. I don't really know why, I just wasn't really feeling it. But today, it's another nice day. It was good to take a shower. Uh, so they have spaghetti dinner last night. So we did 22 miles in and had a ton of spaghetti and meatballs. And this morning, they had pancakes and eggs. It was so good. And what's so five out of the seven of us came into the hostel last night and two more didn't really feel like doing the long day into uh, into town. So they're hiking in today and we're going to meet them in town. So we're going to get a shuttle from the hostel to Bland, which is the nearest town. Going to do a resupply, get some food. I'm going to get some more like athletic tape if I could find meet up with the other guys and then a short day out maybe less than five miles to the first shelter I think that'll be a good plan and then hike on from there we have Parisburg and 45 miles something to look forward to the next town and they're like a bigger town I think they have a lot of stuff there and then we hit the Triple Crown so it's a really pretty one of the nicest scenic views in uh, Virginia, it sounds like. There's McAfee Knob, um, Dragon's Tail, and one other that I can't remember the name. But that's coming up quick. Can't believe it. All right. Catch you later. They're in Bland. Not sure where, but <laughs> it's a cool place here. Morning. So, let's see. Today is April 19th. Probably day 53 is my guess. Somewhere in the 50s. Can't believe we've been out here for over 50 days. Just crazy. Uh, just hiking by myself right now. Same thing, like usual. Uh, it's probably 11 o'clock and in the mornings, we usually head out around eight is the normal time we we are out. Sometimes we're out by seven, sometimes it's late and we're out by nine, but eight's usually the number we start hiking. We're up on this ridge today. It's really neat, but it's super easy. We're just, either it's an old service road or just easy walking, but it's nice. And in the morning, I'd say in general, I probably hike 70% of the time with other people and 30% alone. So, in the mornings, a lot of time we all like leave at different times. Just whenever we're done packing and eating, we'll get on the trail and like meet up for like a 10 o'clock break or something. Or uh, we'll meet up at lunch around noon. And 
listen to music. Not a, a ton, but, like, I listen to a bunch of music. It's fun. Um, one, I just, like, love listening to music. I didn't really listen to any music in the beginning. And then I started, and I, like, realized how much I missed listening to music. So, it's neat. Just, it... I don't know, some people are... No one in really our group, but some people are, like, really against music. They're, like, be out here for the wilderness experience. But it kind of, I don't know, in, in a way, it, like, adds to it. So, I don't think it takes away, but maybe... I don't know if enhances is the right word, but kind of adds to the experience. One thing I also got into a little bit, which is... Ready? Let's fit under here. Nice part about not having those old external frame packs. You could fit in those things. Alright. So, recently I started listening to some uh, music soundtracks, which is pretty cool. So, it's like listening to music without the words. Uh, it's kind of fun sometimes, you know, just to change it up. If you're listening to a lot, but... When we're in a big group, we don't usually listen to music. Sometimes, sometimes we sing. We get some uh, Disney or Hamilton rocking. But the nights have been chilly the last couple days, and in the future. So probably it was around 40 last night. Seems like not like freezing. But tomorrow night is supposed to be. It's in the 20s. So, although it's mid-April in Virginia, we're still having a couple cold nights. Uh, same thing, I'm not super worried. It might be a little chilly at night, but we'll just have to wear some extra clothes. And still so much more green coming out. I'm loving the green. I'm not looking forward to, like I've been saying, the bugs, but right now it's really nice to be out here. You know, like, I don't know. At home, I feel like spring kind of hits like a wall so you like look out one day it's winter and the next day it's spring and like everything's budding but like when you're actually out here every day you see all like the tiny little buds form and like the next week the little trees have some leaves on it and this week the big oak trees are getting their little buds so another week or two there's going to be a full canopy which is kind of cool. What else? Not much. Yesterday in town, we were in Bland, which was fun. This is an awesome hostel. That uh, old farmhouse. And we're gonna try to... Not tomorrow, but Wednesday. Get to, so two days from now, get to uh, Woods Hole Hostel which is a nice hostel that I've heard a lot of about before the trail. So, it's one of the oldest hostels um, that's on the trail, and everyone talks says great things about it. It's Woods Hole. Um, so we're, I don't know if we'll spend the night, but we'll definitely be there checking it out. That'll be fun. I think we have like 30 miles to get there. But, yeah. That's it. So someone was asking about the music that goes along with the videos. And what I try to do, I do my best to, before coming out here, I organized a lot of music into, instead of like genres, more of like moods. So I try to get... I put a lot of thought into it, but the music that goes along with the videos by like how I'm feeling that day. If it's just a dreary, not good day versus a upbeat, fast moving, nice, happy day. So when you hear like the music going along with the videos, I like do my best to really fit it to the experience of that day. But. I'm starting to do some repeats because I'm running low, so in town I have to get some more music uh, for the videos. But, alright.
catch you farther down the trail. Look what we have here. 600 miles. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know we were hitting this. That's awesome. These my They're just going by quicker and quicker. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so funny. They're just flying by now. I mean, the first hundred miles took forever. I was climbing Albert Mountain and you know it just like kept going on. I ran up with JPEG up to that fire tower. Met two other girls through hiking that uh, were around us for a while but we haven't seen recently. And, man. Now we're at 600 miles. That's nuts. That's crazy. 700, here we come. morning we camped at a pretty falls this morning like I guess last night uh, last night was definitely chilly it's just amazing the difference of uh, sleeping pad insulation makes so the one I have it really doesn't have any insulation I have my uh, thin foam pad with, that I put under it that actually makes a big difference but it was below freezing but not much below freezing and I mean I wasn't cold but you you notice a big difference from uh, like a well insulated pad and today we are going to Woods Hole I think it's 13 miles so Woods Hole Hostel is a well-known hostel I think it's one of the oldest ones on the trail so the person that runs it now her grandparents opened it in like the early 1900s so that'll be really neat to check out I'm gonna go hang out with everyone by the falls for a little while then we're gonna head out yesterday was 19 and a half miles and it was pretty easy rolling hills so we did a little bit of night hiking which was fun um, we ate dinner at a stream uh, it was like three miles two to three miles from camp and we just kind of hung out had a good evening by that stream um, and then walked in and had a couple of miles that night, which was, it was fun. It's this group's first night hiking, and I've done a couple so far, but I like it a lot. It's a different experience. <laughs> yeah. Keep you updated. I'm gonna go to the falls now. this morning you can see it's actually snowing it's middle of April in Virginia 
and we're getting a ton of snow. We're gonna hang out for a while. It's so nice here at Woods Hole. And eventually, get back on the trail. But we are not ready yet. Soon. He just gave it to JPEG now. <laughs> so is this the beginning of the three mile downhill? No idea. Oh yeah, how much do we have left now? I wonder if this is town down here. I feel like it um, might be. Especially if you look at it. I think that is Perry's Burgess. Downhill. All right, so I am currently in Parisburg, and it is cold out. I don't know. It's chilly out here, so we went to Food Lion, got a resupply. I was thinking about spending the night again with JPEG. Um, get a night in town. One, it's really cold, so since uh, sent uh, not everything but a lot of the summer or winter gear home spend the night but there's some big project working on a pipeline so like everything in town even though it's a Wednesday is booked up so I'm gonna be camping tonight <sighs> I'm still with a, a couple of the Cornell kids so there's a trail closure that's just opening up actually tomorrow so we're gonna jump into that section and walk part of it tonight. So it's probably almost six o'clock now. So we're gonna get some food and walk that section. Then, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried. It's supposed to get down to like 20-ish. Now, that's a little cold for not having like any insulation underneath me. Since my pad doesn't have any insulation. Oh, look at that. We got a JPEG behind. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to JPEG, see what's up with him. I don't know what the latest is, but I'm gonna get some food. There's a pizza place in town, and my hand's getting cold. Alright, I'll catch you later. All right, back on the trail. So it was like a two mile road walk from Parisburg back to the trail. So we're on the trail now, a little ways in from the road. Um, found like a flat grassy spot that's not super protected from the wind, but we're gonna take it because it doesn't look like there's anything good in the near future. Uh, it's a windy spot, but I think it'll be fine. I, th we've, I think we just had a chill. I mean, it's cold. It's still going to be chilly tonight, but after we were moving for a little bit, we're all warmed up, and it's not that bad right now. So, we'll see how the night goes. Not the most ideal spot. So, not sure, but I think it'd be a good. We were joking around. We were like, since everything is town is booked, wonder if we went to the if we went to the uh, sheriff's office, if we could get a a nice cell jail cell for the night. It's probably heated and so much nicer than than out here. But no, you're just joking around. We're not worried. Okay, catch you later on today.